In Revelations 21, verse 4, it says that God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will exist no longer. Grief, crying, and pain will exist no longer because the previous things have passed away. People of every generation have experienced adversity, sometimes great adversity. And this generation is no different. And yet it seems today that we face certain challenges that previous generations didn't. Although the world continues to change, God's love remains constant. It is something that can always be relied upon. God remains ready to comfort us and strengthen us whenever we turn to God. God's Word contains this promise, and I want to give you a Biblet and explain it a little bit, what it means spiritually. The Lord is near to all that call upon God. Now, in truth, God is close to everyone all the time, closer than hands and feet. But it's only in our free will, when we turn to God, that we become aware in that moment, in our full awareness of God's help. Now I continue. To all that call upon God in truth. There is two ways to call upon God. There is great anxiety, great fear, oh God help me type of prayer, or a calling on God, knowing absolutely in your spirituality, in your faith, that God is there, that God is your help in every need. And when you call upon God in the truth of that, well, it goes through you. It touches you at a cellular level. It changes you. It empowers you. It makes you more than you are. Now I continue. God will fulfill the desires of those that fear God. Now, if you watch this a lot or read Positive Daily Inspiration, you know that I don't believe in fearing God. Uh, you know, the old saying, I am God-fearing. Well, I hope you're not. I hope that you realize that God is more loving than even the most loving human being has ever been in your life. That is but a fraction of what God is. Well, how can you fear that? It is not something that is to be taken inside of you to fear and to, to bend down in absolute terror of God. The original word is much closer to the word respect. To those that respect God. Well, you say, I do respect God. Well, if you are living in doubt, if you're living in fear, if you're living in a belief that appearances are more powerful than God, that is a type of non-respect spiritually. And we have to rise up in our spirituality, in our faith, and realize that God is with us, that God is on our right side, our left side, our front and our back, and inside of us, everywhere present. And it is God that gives us life. It's God that gives us hope, and God that gives us a future. Now I continue. God will also hear their cry and save them. Well, that is true. How can God be feared if God helps you and comforts you in the moment of your human crying? How can uh, this wonderful loving presence be anything but good in your life? And now I continue. The Lord preserves all who love God. Now, God actually preserves all, because that is the way God is. God doesn't give like a human being. God gives 
unconditionally, continuously, without fail. But when you realize the truth of that statement, God preserves all that love Him. Well, how do you love God? It's a moment-to-moment thing inside of you to have that love and that faith and that infilling. And when you have that, no matter what kind of adversity you're going through in your life, you're preserved in that moment. You are not knocked off kilter by the adversity. Now this comforting passage reminds us that when we're troubled, we can call upon God and in God's perfect way, in God's perfect time, God will heal us of our adversity. Until God does, we can take comfort in knowing that we never suffer alone, that we have help that is continually available to us, if we're available in consciousness to that help. And someday, God will wipe away every tear from our eyes.